uh, we are actually hoping to organize the SIOG advanced course uh, maybe uh, sometime in the middle of next year, that is 2020. Uh, the idea basically is to ensure that the younger lot of oncologists as well as the folks who are working in geriatrics or the older folks, they get to know each other, get to work on each other because both of them are doing a wonderful job. But uh, so far they have, are not really being on the same page. So what we hope is that after this joint course of uh, oncology and geriatric professionals in India where there's a very uh, growing need of people in that speciality, they'll be able to find common ground and hopefully be able to deliver the, what is required and we can have faculty coming in from the SIOC as well as coming in from the major centers in India. And uh, first of all, they talk to each other and hopefully the trainees uh, should also be able to form an action plan and work together in the same area. It's a very good question because as you know, India just in the last year, 2018, has uh, rolled out the universal health care covering 40% of the population which really needs um, basic universal health care not only in oncology but also in a variety of other disorders. The plan is to make sure that uh, the adequate care is given not only by the government setup but also by the private setup. And um, as you possibly know we are among the youngest nations in the world more than 65% population is less than 35 years of age, but by the sheer number of being more than 1.3 billion, the number of the elderly is actually increasing by leaps and bounds. And uh, since about 40 to 45% of all cancers occur in that area, at that age, it is important that um, adequate amount of efforts are put in and uh, you may have the trained manpower, but if the money is not there to treat it, uh, the disease is going to be difficult. So uh, the fact that we have more than 1350 packages and out of them some of them are actually uh, focused on oncolo in oncology for the older people, uh, having this trained manpower coming in from the combination of uh, SIOG and the Government of India as a collaboration and hopefully the WHO will chip in as well. So these three organizations and maybe others who are interested should form a basic core of uh, professionals who are not, not only know about what they're doing but also are in a position to know what are the limitations and how to overcome them. What we are hoping for when we get the SIOG advanced course trainees out in the field, they'll be sensitized themselves to what are the problems that are there and as well as the solutions. And many of those individuals who are trained in these advanced courses, we are hoping to get a mix of younger as well as senior people. So the folks who are in the driving seat, who are the policy makers or who become the trainer of trainees, those are the people hopefully will have access to the policy makers to make sure that uh, the adequate amount of not only financial uh, resources but also the workforce is actually trained for that. So we are looking forward to having the SIOG course uh, come in to make sure that this actually happens. See the fact that by 2030, we are supposed to be rolling out this SDG3, especially for Health for All. So having a mix of countries, whether it will be relatively smaller countries, uh, population of 3 million from, like Mongolia, and all the way to a country with 1.3 billion population. Uh, there's a huge diversity in the facilities available, in the preparedness, as well as the fact that uh, the kind of challenges that they have to surmount are very different. But the idea of having this sort of a meeting and getting people on the same table is that they will learn from each other and learn the best practices as we go along. So I'm hoping that this would be the start of good collaborations. So having partnerships is obviously important. So the three areas that I had uh, talked about, which I still would like to repeat, number one is the importance of education, research, as well as global partnerships, not only within the country, but out of the country as well, to get all the important stakeholders 
uh, on the table, not only on the table, but to also talk to each other to make it a reality.